All right, so it is time for the March news roundup. It's been um, ever since ever since our season stopped. It's been um, things coming out bit by bit. We had this uh, interview with Liliando where he confirmed uh, all the people leaving and also um, and also um, the plan going ahead so players confirmed leaving are Nuti Vitasalo, Alan Quine, Janne Kokanen, Kim Rustal, Adam Werner Joachim Ryan, uh, Lauri Payuniemi, and Tommy Salinen. Um, so these have been all been confirmed in the end of season interview with Bjorn Lilian, Liliando, uh, conducted by the club media themselves. So it's um, from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Uh, no, no surprises here, really. I would have hoped that they would have found an extension with Kokanen, obviously, but. Um, I was actually expecting him to go to the NHL. We'll see what happens this summer, but uh, for now, his contract is with Lausanne in uh, Switzerland, and Lauri Payuniemi is, is joining him there, and uh, Adam Bana is all but confirmed for TPS in Liga in Finland, uh, and Kim Rustal is rumored to be going to Westeros in Hockeyallsvenskan as well. So other than that, we don't have any other destinations uh, known yet for the other ones. Uh, regarding players coming in, um, th there's been sporadic information. Uh, none, uh, none of these players have been uh, confirmed by by the club at this point. So, but. We'll, We'll, we'll see. But uh, apparently Petto Vestoheim from Mura will be joining us. Lassie Thompson from Belleville Senators in the AHL. It, that's the affiliate of um, Ottawa Senators. Uh, Juna Ikonen uh, from Ilves. Robin Hansel from Timro. And Hugo Jonasson from Ik. Oscar Sam. Um and we just found out found out about Hugo Jonasson today actually. Uh th this morning uh, I'm recording this on the Saturday of March 30th. So um these players have not been confirmed by the club as I said, but they have there are credible sources stating that um, they're all but done, so um, we'll we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Yuna Ikonen should be the next one to be announced. H his uh, Ilves, his club Ilves in in Finland got knocked out last night in Game Five in the playoffs for them. So that should mean that he's done for the season and he should be able to be announced by the club officially within the next week or two. Uh, Robin Hansel have not been confirmed, but uh, he was actually done for HV71, but then decided that he wanted to go to Malmo instead, because according to sources, we, well, according to the article, I should say, that was put out, uh, Robin Hansel was offered a multi-year deal and also um, the the fact that we already have two Czech players uh, was attractive to him. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical. Uh, he's 35. He's turning 36 years of age before next season. And I mean, he he has a very good playmaking ability. Problem is, we want to play offensively with speed. Does he have that speed? That's my question. Um, and he can run a power play as a playmaker as well. Um, so hopefully he can fill the Yana Kokanen role on the power play. Um, and Hugo Jonasson should be confirmed by a club um, reason reasonably soon. 
because uh, Oskarshamn got knocked out last night as well in game seven of the playout. So, uh, and then Iwulofsson, Iwan Iwulofsson also got extended. Uh, he extended his contract for one more year with us, which is good. Um, and what I expect for April is Ikonen will be announced, Hansel will be announced, Thompson will be announced, Vestaheim will be announced, Jonasson will be announced. We will announce a new starting goaltender and will announce a first line centerman and a first line right wing. Not all of this will happen during April, but April and May, hopefully, uh, because after 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 June, going into July, you want to have your your squad pretty much set. So I would expect by May, by the end of May, we should have knowledge of who's coming in on those top positions. So, but yeah, let's have a look. So I put this together real quick. This is what the forward lines could look like. Obviously. It's interchangeable if someone gets injured. I would expect Alvarez to play. I would expect Vestaheim to play quite a bit. Um, I would expect Sunbai to get his chance to produce as well. Um, and uh, then we have junior players. We have Kruse Thompson who reached 100 mi minutes, which makes him uh, eligible for a rookie contract in the in the SHL so he's got a rookie contract with the men's team now and not just a junior contract which is relevant uh, Freddy Lawson is now 20 years of age I don't know if he's if he's, if, he, if he is still allowed to play with the junior squad so he might also belong to the men's team or get shipped away I don't know what's going to happen with them to be honest um, Wille Magnatoft and Philip Zita are the two players um, as well as the the I don't remember the name there was a, yo a youngster that was recruited uh, from Feierstad. Uh I don't remember his name now but um, he will also be obviously available from the junior squad to be lifted up in case of injuries and then on the defenseman side, this is pretty much the eight defensemen that will start the season. We have Otto Mollas, Matson, Thompson, Ivason, Kivi Halme, Galvas, Lassen, Jonasson, and Badinka. Obviously, there will be rotation, especially between the bottom four here, bottom five, I, I would say. So these. Max Villain can come up, he's 17 years old. He can come up and fill a uh, depth role here. Kivi Halme is being has been deployed. When he was at his best, he was deployed on the right hand side because he has the skating ability to, despite being a left shot, he can get around his forward and then have his stick on the inside and be able to take a shot. And he scored quite a few goals. On that alone, by just the skating ability and being able to shoot on the far far side um, as a left shot on the right hand side, so I think that is how he will continue to be deployed. Um, yeah, and Lassen, obviously, the last five years we have uh, put him as seventh defenseman before each season, but yet he averages thirty thirty five games a year ever since his first full year here he has played 30 35 games despite always being played played uh, put as depth so everyone will be playing there's no doubt about that um and yeah and goaltenders we need a starting goaltender who can take a heavy lifting 30 35 games uh and Marmelin will have to fight for his spot uh, he will get. This is my my opinion. Obviously, I don't know what is in uh, Kolal's head, but I would expect a new goaltender coming in. He would be more of a vet. He would be able to carry the team some some nights, 
um, and take a heavy lifting 30-35 games, 15-20 to 20 games from Marmelind and we have Blomgren loaned out to Antuna th this coming season. Big congrats to him. He was uh, he was one of the best goaltenders in in uh, Hockey Etan, which is the third tier, uh, this past season. Uh, so very very nicely done. And yeah, this is what I expect. This is my opinion. And when it comes to the expectations of what will happen, I hope at least we will have announced uh, Ikonen Hansel and Vestoheim and Jonasson. I don't know, Thompson, if we look at um, Thompson, uh, if we go to flash score, Belleville, um, let's see, what it, is there? So they haven't finished their regular season yet. They still have, so by the end of, let's look at the table, standings they are they're still fighting for a playoff spot but they are out, currently out of the playoffs and they're losing quite a bit here so by the end of April we could have him announced for us as well depending on how the end of the season goes here um, and then hopefully in May we'll f hear news about a starting goaltender, a first line centerman, and uh, potentially another right winger. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.